So, this movie starts with a jail, where we see the main character of the story, Arthur Joker, who was very weak because he did not get proper food and water here. Here we also find out why Joker was actually imprisoned in jail. Actually, he had killed five people in public, for which he was punished. Although he had killed five people, but the way he killed them, he became very famous among them. He was in the form of the Joker at that time, that is, he had made his appearance with clothes and makeup of the Joker, which made him so famous that a TV film was also made on him. Many people like that TV film, who are all fans of the Joker. Now they believe that Joker Arthur is innocent, and he did a good job by killing those five people, because they were all very bad people. She used to bother Arthur a lot, she used to make fun of him, so he got tired and took this step. But from the eyes of the rest, he is not a criminal, but a criminal, because he has killed people. It's been a long time since Arthur has been here in jail, and I don't know how many more years he will be imprisoned here. Because he had not even been heard in court yet, that he could know how many years he would be imprisoned here. Now poor Arthur was not at peace anywhere, he was worried about the poor people, because everyone used to bother him, bully him. And after coming to jail, he was worried about the police, because these people also made fun of him. Now Arthur's lawyer calls him to meet him, so he leaves. But when he was on the road, he saw a girl, whom Arthur looks at very carefully. That girl was also not taking her eyes off Arthur. After looking closely, she points at him like a shotgun, this girl's name is Lee. But the police take Arthur from there, and he comes and meets his lawyer, who is going to fight his case. Now on the one hand, his lawyer was fighting Arthur's case, but at the same time taking advantage of him. As Arthur was very famous today, he was heard everywhere. So taking advantage of this, the lawyer brings some reporters here with him, so that he can interview Arthur. She just tells him that these people will ask you a few questions and you have to tell them about yourself. Now Arthur listens to her and comes to the interview room. Now he didn't want to do this, because he didn't like the reporters. But now he has to listen to his lawyer and give him this interview, because he also wants to get out of jail. Now during the interview, he is asked some questions that he does not like at all. Of course, he answers those questions, but he is also very angry inside. Because the bad time that had passed was being refreshed in front of him, which puts him in trouble. But still he answers all the questions truthfully. Now the second reason for the interview was to check Arthur. That is, his interviews will continue every day. Because they wanted to check whether Arthur's mental condition has improved or not. Because many people believe that Arthur is crazy, a crazy joker. And he has killed five people in his madness. So in the name of the interview, check his condition. Now after the interview, when Arthur was brought back to jail, a police officer took him to the musical room. Where everyone was playing their own music. Here that girl Lee was also there. And this is how both meet. Both were very happy to meet each other. Because since they had seen each other, they wanted to meet. Arthur asks Lee, why are you here? Lee says that in the building where I used to live with my mother, I came there in a fit of anger and set it on fire, and burned the whole building, because of which my mother also died. That's why I was punished and I'm here. Hearing this, Arthur starts laughing loudly, because it was his habit. Then Lee asks him, why are you here? Arthur says, what are you talking about? You don't know how I am here. Everyone knows that I have killed five people, in which crime I am being punished. Now these seven rows used to meet each other, and become friends. One day, Lee even tells Arthur, that let's both run away from here. But he says no, no, I can't do this, because those people will shoot me. Actually, Lee started liking him in his heart, and he wants to run away from here and spend the rest of his life with Arthur. And it was not going to be obvious when he refused. That's why Lee feels a little bad. Now at this time, she was sitting with Arthur in the theater. She takes out her anger in such a way that she sets fire to the back of the theater. When people sitting in the theater find out about the fire, they start running away from here. The whole hall was empty. Only Lee and Arthur were there. But they don't run away from the fire. They stay there. And both of them express their love here. Not only Lee, but Arthur also fell in love with her. After which they both ran and came to the ground. They both pretend to run away from here. But then the officers come and catch them. And started dragging them from here. But instead of being worried, they start laughing. Which meant that both are the same. And Arthur Arthur enjoys this moment so much that he starts laughing like crazy. Now when Arthur was brought back to the jail, Lee also comes to his cell with the help of a guard, and these two spend a year together again. She says to Lee, I want to see you in the Joker's form, for which she will also bring makeup with her. With the help of her, she does his makeup and makes him look like a Joker, after which he enjoys a lot. Now the next day, the lawyer comes to meet Arthur again, because she wanted to take another interview with him. She brings the best reporter with her, so that she can find out about his mental condition through questions. Now Arthur did not want to talk about his past, because he used to get disturbed, he used to feel bad. But this reporter used to ask questions about his past again and again. Now he had also killed his mother, about which this reporter starts asking. But after hearing this, Arthur got so disturbed, 
that he started getting angry at the reporter, although before that he was sitting quietly. But the punishment was completed, he was released, and now he is going out of jail and watching Arthur's interview on TV. Now after this interview, Arthur was going to be presented in court, and when he was being taken to the Joker, then his fans who loved him were lined up on the streets, who was not calling Arthur anywhere. And here they came to support him, because she wanted Arthur to get out of jail as soon as possible, and she also lived a free life. She also has the right to live, because the people she killed were worthy of her, and this should be the fate of such people. When Arthur came to the court, he also sees Lee among his fans. Both are very happy to see each other. After the hearing started, the second lawyer stood up. He starts speaking against Arthur, that he has done a lot of wrong. He killed five people in the public train, after which Arthur's lawyer stood up, and starts speaking in his favor, that Arthur Joker has always spent his life alone in a room. He is poor innocent. He did not say anything to those five people. But what did they do? They tortured Arthur. Then what would that poor man do? He killed him in his own protection. Because his mind is like a child. He does what he thinks is right. The second lawyer says that whatever it is, whatever he killed, but he is a murderer. He has committed a crime, so he should be punished. He has no right to roam free. Anyway, now listening to these two lawyers, the judge extends the date, then when Arthur's lawyer came out, the judge came to him and says that the way you are fighting Arthur's case, in this way he will lose, he will be punished, you have to fight this case well and somehow get him free. Now when Arthur was put back in jail, then his lawyer comes and meets him and starts asking about the date. Then Arthur says that she is a very good girl. I love her and I trust her. Then the lawyer says that what do you know about her? She is deceiving you. Because look, she said that my mom and dad have died. But the truth is that her dad is a doctor and both mom and dad are alive. Along with this, Arthur also finds out that Lee had not been punished. But she was deliberately giving money and was disguised as a prisoner in jail. So that she can meet Arthur. Now one day when Lee came to meet Arthur in jail. Then he asks her about this. When Lee says yes. Then you are absolutely right. My mom and dad are alive. And I lied to you and also kept this secret that I deliberately gave money and disguised myself as a prisoner in jail so I didn't mean anything wrong I just wanted to meet you because I started liking you and I want to free you from here so that after getting out of here both of us can live a happy life look what can I do it's not my fault I have seen your TV film about 20 times I have fallen in love with you and now no matter what happens no matter what happens, I will get you out of jail, after which both of us will live together, okay? And then Arthur also agrees happily. And now that day also comes, when Arthur was in the court, today Arthur's neighbor came to testify for him. She said that I and Arthur's mom used to meet often, and that day when Arthur was beating his mother, then I also saw it all in front of my eyes. After seeing Arthur like this, I was very scared. So I came to another city to save my child. But when I found out that Arthur was in jail, then I felt very bad, and I came to testify for him, because he has always been wronged. He never wanted anyone to be bad and yes, when Arthur was beating his mother. At that time he was on the Joker's road. Then I realized that this is not Arthur. But he is really a Joker. That's why I believe that all the murders were not done by Arthur. But the hidden Joker inside him did it. With which people have forced. Now after hearing this, Arthur felt like he had a courage. He was so crazy that he got up in front of everyone. He stood up and started shouting. And he said to the judge, Now I want to fight my own case. I don't need a lawyer. By saying this, he leaves his lawyer and goes away. Lee was also very happy with this decision. Because he felt that the Joker has done the right thing and now the day comes, the day when he will be presented in court, his lover, standing outside, to hear the Joker's final decision, was also there, Arthur now comes as his own lawyer, then he becomes a Joker, decides to fight this case, that's why, in the Joker's get up, that is, wearing clothes and makeup, he is sitting there very comfortably, as soon as the hearing began, then that lawyer, comes as Arthur's co-worker, who had worked with Arthur for many years, and he knew him well, so now he could also tell, how Arthur turned his head and when he is in the form of a Joker, how does he become, he says, when the Joker killed those people on the train, I saw it all happening, because we both got on the train together, after hearing this, Arthur Joker stood up, he says, okay, tell me, when I was killing them, so who did you see? Then he also says the same thing, that I saw the Joker inside Arthur, who was killing them. Now on this testimony of his, Arthur goes crazy, once again, and he starts speaking against the police. He says, these people are such, that they don't need any witnesses, no need for any evidence, whatever they get, whether he is guilty or not, they pick it up, take it to jail, close it, and if the police had come at the right time on that day, then they would have seen, whose fault is it, and I wouldn't have lost it either. That is, this way Arthur was blaming the police, and that's it. Today's testimony is enough, and the date is extended again. But when poor Arthur went back to jail, then the police take him to teach him a lesson. Because today he said so much against the police, so everyone was very angry with him, and they beat him a lot to punish him. After beating him a lot, they bring him back to his cell and leave him. Now two days later, the presentation day comes again. Today Libby had come in the form of a joker, because she had full hope 
that today Arthur will definitely lose, but the Joker who was in Arthur's form, we can clearly see disappointment on his face, because he had given up, he finally says, that yes I agree, I have done a lot of wrong, and I am ashamed of this, I confess my sin, listening to this, Rico gets so angry, that she gets up from the court with her people, and goes out of there, because she didn't want, that the Joker give up, and accept this thing in front of the court, but because he had accepted his sin with his mouth, so this case was over anyway, and now it was time to punish him, that's why he comes back to his normal form from the Joker, and I don't know what he thinks, he starts laughing loudly, now seeing him laughing like this, the doctor who was against him, he got angry, he starts beating Arthur, but he doesn't stop laughing, he was inside the court, because of his laughter, there was a big explosion, because of which the whole court was destroyed, some people die in this incident, while many people were lying there injured, now as Arthur came out of the court, at the same destroyed place, he saw a fan of his, which was also in the Joker's form, he recognizes Arthur, that he is the real Joker, and started taking him with him, so that he can help him, he was putting Arthur in the car, and was taking him far away from here, by doing this, he wanted to help the Joker, but meanwhile his car got stuck in the traffic, and don't know why, Arthur gets out of the car and starts running, after running very far, he sees Lee in front of him, Arthur goes to him and says, let's go from here now, let's go somewhere far away, and he is creating his own world there, because I don't know how the explosion happened in the court, and I ran away from there, after hearing this Lee says, no, this can't happen now, because the one I loved, can't be you, I loved a fearless, a brave person, but I didn't know, that you were one of those who give up so soon, you disappointed me a lot, by accepting your mistake in front of everyone, you wanted to be strong, so now I have decided, that I can't spend my life with you, you are a coward, do you know, I am going to be your daughter's mother, and we got married early, I had thought, but I still don't want to live with you, because I don't want, I don't want my daughter to meet a coward like you, after saying this, Lee leaves from there, and poor Arthur stands there, he was completely broken by Satyamali's words, he didn't understand anything, what should I say now, and what should I do, even after taking him away, he stood there, but the police come comes there, and catches him again, and once again, he was put in jail, now a man in jail, who was against Arthur, he came to meet him on the pretext, and by going alone, on the pretext of singing, he attacks Arthur, he attacked him with a dangerous weapon, which injured Arthur a lot, his head started bleeding, he fell down crying, and his eyes were closed, he was not moving at all, looking at him, it seemed, that he is dead, now, is Arthur Joker really dead, what do you think, do share your opinion in the comment box, with that, here this film ends, 